الرحمن الرحيم Brothers and sisters, we meet again to talk about Al-Imam Al-Bukhari. Now, the question is, Imam Al-Bukhari is from a Persian origin. Some suggest uh, from the Uzbek. So how come that he authored all these books in Arabic? It's a silly question. But anyway, we have to answer. Now, let us from the beginning, state some facts. Imam al-Bukhari, Muhammad, son of Ismail, never spoke any other language than Arabic. His father, Ismail, never spoke any other language than Arabic. We don't have any single narration that states or tells us that they spoke any other language. Imam al-Bukhari, Muhammad, his father Ismail, his grandfather Ibrahim were all brought in an Arabic environment. It was Al-Mughira, father of his grandfather, who embraced Islam. Now, Imam Al-Bukhari, from his early years, went to the Kutab, the school for children, and he memorized Al-Quran Al-Kareem. He studied grammar, morphology, linguistics, he memorized the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. And Imam Bukhari pursued his studies later on. He memorized poetry. He quotes so much poetry, even in the Sahih itself. Even pre-Islamic poetry by Imri Al-Qais, the famous or infamous uh, most important poet before Islam. Imam Al-Bukhari himself cast poetry. He wrote poetry. We have some of his lines of poetry. He says, اغتنم في الفراغ فضل ركوع فعسى أن يكون موتك بغتة كم صحيح رأيت من غير سقم ذهبت نفسه الصحيحة فلتة. Two lines of the top level of eloquence in poetry. And furthermore, if we study his prose, his writings, we see very rich vocabulary in the Arabic language. So the result, the conclusion, is that Imam al-Bukhari was Arabic in his upbringing, Arabic in his language, Arabic in his passion, Arabic in his production. All of his works were in Arabic, and he excelled and reached the highest level of eloquence in the Arabic language. This is why Al-Bukhari is one of these many, many non-Arab scholars who melted in the Islamic civilization and served it in, its, uh, in their best way. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.